Hi everyone, I had a request from many customers to show how this uh, mini plater works. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. It's a re really uh, easy process. I'm gonna play the coin, back plating. You connect the mini plater uh, to the outlet. You have the alligator clip that you're gonna connect um, to your part, whatever you played in. This is a coin. You played it. This is your plating anode. What you're gonna do, you can heat up this gold solution in a microwave for about 30 seconds uh, until it's hot. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna dip it. Dip your coin inside of the gold solution. At the same time, you dip in the tip of the anode in a solution. Be sure that it doesn't touch the coin. And you leave it, you can see it's um, the gold solution, it's, it's gonna just start bubbling up. You can pull it out once in a while, check it out uh, to see if the gold bond, if it, if it does, that means you're done. If not, you put it back in. It should take about 20 seconds to do it. The best way to do it, always, you have to polish your parts and give it a nice clean mirror shine. If you have a mirror shine, uh, you will have a very shiny gold color on it. Now, this is already, this gold has been bonded, as you can see, it's a, now it's a gold. It's, as I said, it's a really, really um, easy process. Now, it's same process goes with every plating system that we have, like 30 amp, 60 amp, then we have like 2 amp, 5 amp, process it's the same. The only difference is, when you have a 60 amp plating machine like this one, or 30 amp like this one, it makes a difference that you can do much larger parts. Also, with some of the plating machine, we ship uh, chrome stripper and nickel activator. Chrome stripper is used on parts that it's chrome plated, such as car emblems. You have to apply the chrome stripper, you will rub it on the uh, car emblem, connect it again, your voltage gonna be about 5 volt, you rub the chrome stripper, it strips the chrome about maybe 15-20 seconds, rinse it, you apply the activator, rinse it, and then you apply the gold. Now, another thing is, you can also do brush plating with this system. The only difference is, you're gonna need a brush plating gold. Brush plating gold, we have like one, like a non-hazmat brush plating gold that we mostly use on coins, jewelry stuff. We have cyanide based um, gel gold that it's in form of a gel. The, what you need to do with brush plating, you're gonna have again your, for example, this is the coin. What you're gonna do, you're still gonna connect this um, to the coin. Now, what I'm gonna do, you can use bonnets like this, cotton, cotton bonnets. You can use gauze or you can wrap a cotton ball around this tip of the anode, just like Q-tip. You just need a small amount to rub it. Uh, now, I'm using this bonnet. It won't really make that much difference. Um, no, when you use this, what you need to do to pass the electric through, it's better that you wet this with water. So, when you wet it, well, I'm just gonna use this solution. When you wet it, you're gonna grab some of the gel gold, small amount of gel gold, and then you're gonna rub it in a circular motion. As soon as the gold is rubbed, um, you will see the, the gold, it's, it's, it's bonding. That's how you do the brush plating. I will make another video that I'm gonna do a, a big part on brush plating that we use the chrome stripper activator then the um, gold uh, gel gold to brush plate. Any questions you guys can always uh, email us or you can give us a call. Thank you.